I made a video on this channel called the 3G network is shutting down, essentially highlighting the importance of the 3G network shutdown and how it would affect a lot of the devices that we use on a daily basis, not just smartphones, but a lot of electronics that surprisingly depend on this technology. But as of 2024, when I'm recording this video, that 3G network has already shut down here in the US, which is pretty sad to see. And when you think about it, when a device loses its 3G network or 5G or LTE network, it's supposed to technically fall back to the 2G network but that's no longer gonna be the case anymore, and let me explain why. So you guys are probably wondering, why exactly is the 2G network shutting down after all these years? Basically, the three major telecom providers here in the US, such as AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile, all plan to shut down both the 2G and 3G networks after 5G rolled out a couple years ago, and like I mentioned, the 3G network has already shut down, and now the next network to shut down and officially retire forever is gonna be 2G. And this is basically done to create enough spectrum slash room for the new evolution of 5G data. And providers like AT&T and Verizon already shut their 2G networks down, but T-Mobile is the only network here in the US that hasn't shut their 2G down, but it will be officially shut down on April 2nd, 2024, which if you think about it, is literally under two months away. So this is really sad from a collector's perspective because the 2G network is gonna be gone. It's never gonna be accessible ever again, at least here in the US. And if you guys think about it, the iPhone 2G, this was the first ever iPhone that Apple came out with and the first ever iPhone to run exclusively on the 2G network. So once that 2G network is gone, this phone will never be able to connect to US cellular towers ever again, which honestly makes me really sad from a collector's point of view because, you know, AT&T was the first ever carrier here in the US to carry and actually sell this phone for the very first time. And the fact that it will never be able to work in the US again is pretty sad. But for those who are interested in trying this out before it's gone forever, I do recommend picking up one of those prepaid SIM cards. I got the Ultra Mobile SIM card here. Uh, they do run on the T-Mobile network, so a lot of people in the collector's community have had success using this specific brand, but you guys can try out other ones too, see which one works best. But yeah, with Ultra Mobile, you should be able to get an edge connection. Um, keep in mind, it's very finicky. This is like 10 plus year old technology. It's probably not gonna work the best, but you guys can definitely try it out. And I thought it was pretty cool to be able to get text messages and all that awesome stuff. So pretty cool to see, but very sad that it's gonna be going away forever. But it's also important to mention that it doesn't have to end there. I think it's also important to realize that phones aren't the only devices that rely on the 2G network. Devices such as your home alarm system, a medical device, sensors, and car infotainment systems can pretty much all rely on 2G and 3G networks. But I will say in most cases, since AT&T and Verizon's 2G network has already been shut down, as of when this video is being recorded, chances are you probably weren't too affected by this, but let's say if you had an older car which used to connect to the 2G network, well, now you're pretty much left with having to upgrade that module so that you can get data back up and running on this device. It's usually not gonna affect a lot of people and the manufacturer will probably reach out to you in most cases, but something to keep in mind. And with T-Mobile's 2G shutdown, it likely won't affect that many people, but it's the fact that once it's gone, there will never be a 2G network to fall back on. So if you're out and about and you lose your 5G or LTE connection, you simply won't have any data on your phone. But in most cases, that probably shouldn't be an issue because the whole reason why 2G is going away in the first place is so that they can actually make more room, aka spectrum, for newer and faster data. So you can think of it as a win since there should be more data available. But it's pretty sad from a collector's perspective when you realize that these devices will never be able to connect to US cellular towers ever again. And at this point, they're kind of just staying in storage, so we won't really have a lot of use for them anymore. Unless you're a collector, of course, then that's a different case. So yeah, back on the topic of 2G. Although it is going away for good in the United States, 2G and even 3G are still available in Canada and a lot of other international countries. For those who remember, I used to live in Canada. It's where I grew up. And even when I get to visit and roam Canada, like when I went last year, I actually ended up roaming on the Bell 3G network, which was kind of cool to see uh, and very nostalgic for sure. Uh, but every country will differ, um, but if you happen to be in Canada anytime soon, 3G should definitely be working. 2G, from what I remember, is a little hard to connect to just because your phone has to avoid getting a 3G signal in order to actually fall back onto 2G. And unfortunately, I can't test it out at this moment, but I'll definitely try my best to test it out once I'm back. And now, another thing I also wanted to talk about was the whole voice over LTE versus non-voice over LTE thing. You might have heard these words be tossed around a couple times before. Essentially. VOLTE means voice over LTE, and this is a feature where your phone can take calls over the LTE network. And if you guys remember back in the day, if you owned an iPhone 5, 
and you received a phone call, that same iPhone 5 would have to switch from LTE to 3G in order to actually take that call. But VO LTE changes that because now phones don't actually have to fall back to the 3G network because it doesn't exist anymore uh, in order to actually take these calls, hence the name Voice over LTE. However, this means any iPhone older than an iPhone 6 won't actually have this technology and because there's no 3G or 2G network to fall back on, these devices are pretty much rendered useless in 2024 but I would expect the majority of people are probably upgraded at this point, so something to keep in mind. But on the bright side, this iPhone 5S here is still connecting to Ultra Mobile's LTE network which is pretty cool to see, however if I make a call, the call should in theory drop because this phone does not support voice over LTE and yeah, like there's nothing happening with this call, I don't even hear any ringing, so yeah, it's probably not going to work. But yeah, it's pretty cool to see that we got LTE working on this device. Definitely would love to try and use this phone as my daily driver. Let me know if you guys want to see that video later on. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Now is the time to use up those old Apple devices before the 2G network is gone forever. I hope you guys learned something new with this video and you know, just keep in mind that 2G network is going away. It's never coming back. And uh, this is a sad video to make, but you know, I'm excited for 5G. I'm excited to see what kind of next revolutionary data we have coming out in the next 5-10 years, so looking forward to that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.